morning, it's Todd and it's July 30th. Uh, I know I haven't made any videos in a while, but uh, life and the fair coming up. Uh, but I also took on a project. I started uh, painting it. We had a couple cool weeks of perfect, hardly any humidity. And I decided to take on my painting job of the old LSC. And I'm doing it with a brush and a roller. And these are the paint supplies and uh, uh, I also got other paints, of course, uh, but basically it's it's that type of job. I'll probably do a, a couple short videos on it. Uh, a lot of people are going to be like, holy cow, what are you doing painting a tractor? But uh, most of uh, the older tractors are cast iron in a lot of places, and like the wheels, I've done one side, and you can, if you take your time and do it right, you can uh, actually paint these and make them look pretty good. Uh, it's better than paying about $5,000 to have it torn down and painted and then rebuilt and for a $700 tractor I'm not going to spend that on, on, on the restoration on this uh, but anyway uh, today I did pick the blackberries I thought I'd update you on the garden as well and what we've been doing with that and raspberries are done but as you see the blackberries are doing really good and they are just just beautiful so uh, We'll probably make some jam out of that, some jelly, and uh, uh, can some of that stuff. And uh, like I say, I'll do some short clips and photos of what I've been harvesting in the last week out of the garden. But that's what's going on with me. Uh, I think uh, I'll try to do a collections Friday this week. Uh, but if you have any questions about the tractor, I'll, I'll do some uh, photos of it, where I'm at on it. But Basically what I do is I prime the areas. I, I have to degrease and wash them and I just pick a small area and start on that and after I get it cleaned up and there's no grease or oil then I go ahead and prime that spot and then I, I brush it, roll it and I maybe do two or three coats of the orange or the silver and then I'll do a clear coat. Uh, might even put two on depending on the area. Uh, and that will be the finished job and it takes a while but it's going to look a lot different when it's done trust me uh, and uh, I'll keep you informed how it goes it may be a two year project we'll see how the weather uh, cooperates because everything's uh, really depends on the humidity anyway thanks a lot guys take care talk to you soon bye bye bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together July 30th everyone it's so good uh, just an update of what's going on here at the farm a little bit. You know, it's, those are not raspberries, those are blackberries. So raspberries are done until fall, but as you see, we've got the blackberries on. And they're doing really good. So I'll pick some and I'll show you what we get. But they're really nice this year. As long as the bugs and birds stay away. everyone it's July 30th and just a quick overview of what the garden looks like potatoes are right there I know with some weeds you can't see them because they're starting to turn yellow so they'll be dug out pretty soon here's all the zucchini pumpkins are in there too uh, and then the tomatoes are all right in here and I've already picked quite a few tomatoes and then of course in with the grass there is actually sweet potato vines. That's what those are right there. Those are sweet potato vines. And sweet potatoes are real doing good. The Brussels sprouts are doing great. Uh, I've taken lots of cuttings off the broccoli, which is in this row here. Uh, about every two days uh, with all the rain we've been getting, I had to do that. I already took one big cabbage. And as you see, the other cabbages are coming along real, real fine. 
Uh, we'll be cutting some more some more broccoli there and cauliflower is just starting to head out and this is all now i gotta roll till this section up and replant it for the fall carrots i've been digging out some carrots they're doing good they're starting to turn i got some cucumbers but my plants my cucumber plants are dying this year right? we're getting a bug that's getting into them and i get a few cucumbers from each plant but then by after probably another two weeks i'll I won't have no cucumber plants. Uh, the beans are doing excellent. I, I get beans every day. I gotta pick them. Uh, so, but that's typical beans. As long as you're picking them, they're coming on. And with the rains we're getting, the beans are ac actually just doing great. And I do have a little bit of spinach and carrots in here with the weeds. But uh, I let my lettuce go to the seed. And when I roll till this up here in the next week or so to replant it then actually that seed will also go in there and i'll have lettuce then again so uh grapes are doing good though the japanese beetles have taken a toll on them so anyway that's the garden for july 30th i'll show you some photos of my harvest today